So, how do y'all like my gem? It's right up under my Bradford pear. It's out here in the kids' play area. Nothing fancy here. Don't need anything fancy. Just a little bit of space to where you can lift a few weights. Maybe get your blood going early in the mornings. But now we have 20 yards to do. So I'm going to get with it. What this be? What that is? What, what's that? Hey, what's the glasses here? I just put them there. I found six of them up there. Well, well, well. Here we are again. In the... In the bright morning sunlight. Yeah, we are. It's 8.20. It's March the 24th. And we are now on our way to mow. I, I was doing my taxes yesterday. I'm about, oh, I'd say 80% uh, done with my taxes. And uh, I'm always glad to get that done. I would have finished them, but Mariah was feeling bad and went to bed early. And so I figured we'd put it off for another day. How are you feeling today, baby? A lot better. Feeling a lot better. Okay, great. So we're going out and mow. It is, uh, we've got quite a bit to do today. And y'all see how I went out and worked out in my gym this morning? Now, I didn't do a whole lot, but enough to kind of get my juices flowing. And, uh... I feel good, feel ready and raring to go today. And of course, I got my coffee and my famous coffee cup that Brian Lowe sent me. We're going to go ahead now and discuss who we're going to mow. We already got a lot of people on the list, but we've got more to add and we got to figure out who we're going to do today and who we're going to get tomorrow. Right? Yeah, we're not going to be mowing tomorrow. It's an 90% chance of rain in the morning. Yeah. And it's supposed to be heavy with tor with maybe tornadoes. Yeah. And you're sitting, we're sitting right in the sun where my eyeballs are getting burned. All right, we're going to go down the road and let the sun get up a little higher so it's not shining in our face. So we'll talk to y'all in a little bit at our first yard. Beautiful morning, ain't it, you guys? Well, you guys, I'm going to show you the first house. This is the new place. We just acquired this one yesterday. So before we mow it, I'm going to give it the famous walk around. And go give y'all a shot of what it's like. Okay, this is a pretty steep bank here. You can see that device right there at the end of the fence. So we mow everything from there over. I'm not going to get close to the neighbor's fence. I guess, well, it gets close to can, but I'm not going to weed eat it, of course. And then this yard here. And this one right here. So I have to mow this here with a walk behind. Because it's pretty steep. It's a pretty simple yard. There's no fence or anything. I think it'll be a quickie. We like to give it the famous walk around and make sure there's any damage we can record it. Hey there, how you doing? Okay. I'm doing fine. I'm just giving the yard a quick walk around oh, okay. and see if there's any damage. I always do that to the first yard so I can point it out to the homeowner so you can know I didn't do it. I've been about all over it a thousand times, so I don't think there's any. Has somebody mowed it this year yet? No. Oh. Well, it looks nice and green. It's ready today, isn't it? What's your name? Laverne. Laverne, well, I'm Wes. Glad to meet you. We'll get it cleaned up for you here. Everything looks good. That's 10 down there, so I don't have to worry about that too much. Looks like they definitely have a groundhog problem or something. Something is eat the wood through the wood right there. I had a groundhog at my place did that. I'm betting you that's a groundhog. And you can see that wooden pole right there. That's the line over here. 
So we're going to get with this. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other. Ah, so far is the echo. Where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars. Here in the shadows, I know you're scared. Take my hand together. We'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say No more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your fears and pride Stand up beside me, don't you hide We can build a better place If we can just find a way Then we can live a better day Rise from the ashes, from the anger, from the war Let's come together, lift your spirit for the cause We should be equal, should we live free all together, one and all, let's build a dream Okay, the homeowner came out. This is the first time that, that we mowed. Well, not the homeowner, the daughter. Yeah, the daughter, the one that takes care of their affairs. She came out and she talked to me. And, of course, we didn't discuss how we get paid or anything. And I told her well, we charge once a month. At the ever, end of every month, We'll give her an invoice with her bill. Anyways, so that's okay with her too. But she wanted to let me know that the last two people that mowed the yard, her father ran off. <laughs> I said, well, I, I won't worry about that. I've had to deal with people like that before. She, he's got dementia. He waved like this to me. He goes, I yeah. thought he was a real sweet old man. He has dementia. Well, of course, you're a beautiful woman. But he had dementia. And she said the last two people, he run off. But 
I told her, I said, look, this is my 22nd or 23rd year, and I have dealt with difficult customers, and I've never been rude to them. I've been fired two or three times by some people, and then they hired me right back because they said nobody can uh, put up with them. Of course, now, um, i got one now that was that way, and he loves me. He loves me and Mariah. He thinks we're the best thing since sliced bread. So I don't worry about that. I'm not concerned about that at all. How so, can he run someone off seeing he's in a wheelchair? She said he's hateful. He's in a wheelchair. His mouth runs people off. She said he is hateful. Okay, I've got another mowing outfit coming head on on the other side, on my side. So we better dodge him. Hey, old man. That's an old dude. It's an old man out here mowing. What's wrong with these people? Don't they know this ain't no old man's work? What you doing? How you doing this year? How you doing this year? How's the little lady? Okay, two. Two yards. Ah, ah, ah. On to the third. Some of these yards are getting kind of small, so we're not definitely not going to record all of them. Because, um, you know, it's just like in here. It's just... A little yard in the front, yard in the back, yard on the side. And until I get another drone where I can send it way up in the hot sky and they can show you everything we do, I'm not going to be doing these little bitty ones. I'm not going to be filming them much. Well, Mariah seen a yard sale. So we're stopping. Let her go see what kind of stuff they have out there. That's what she likes. So Mariah found her treasure. Let me show it to you. Y'all probably remember these when they came out in the 70s. But you know what? If my girl wants it, my girl gets it.
we got done with that yard and somebody called and said they wanted their yard mowed today too so they're not real far from here but if we leave this area they are very very far so uh mariah tells me she needs off next wednesday mm -hmm. and i told her that's a good thing about working for yourself why do I need off? You can write that in. Why do I need off? She's going to babysit the Grand Chetland. So, next Wednesday, we'll be doing something else. I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better. Girl, when I'm with you, she luminous so bright like a star in the skylines. She got the looks, the good, oh boy, I need her so bad in my life. Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go? London, Paris, Tokyo, oh, Shawty, we could go. Don't need no luggage, na 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 na. Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 na. Just me and your sons are right, sons are right, girl. I want nobody but you. 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 That song's for you When you put down and better Shawty, I'll be there for you We'll be like Bonnie and Clyde How we everybody else You and me against the world, girl You'll be my B, I'll be your J, yeah We'll be so dangerous in love, girl Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go London, Paris, Tokyo, oh Shawty, we could go don't need no luggage, na 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 na. Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 na. Just me and your sons are right, sons are right, girl. I want nobody but you. 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 Okay, we had a very tragic thing happen. Mm. Do you know what it was? Mm. I hit a rabbit hole. Mm. You know, and the thing of it is, is I know they're out this time of the year, and I usually look out for them, and I was mowing, and I said, what's all that hair doing in the yard? And I ran over it and killed two of eight. I hate that. So you all look out. If you see a ball of hair in your yard, it's probably a rabbit nest. I've never seen that many rabbits in a nest. Well, we have done 
How many? Nine? Ten. No, we ain't done ten. Mm -hmm. I thought you said I know it's going to be ten. Ten, I know it'll be eleven. All right. So, uh, we had a belt break earlier. And fortunately, I had an old used belt with me. I called and ordered a belt, but they're not going to be in until Monday. So, um, hopefully this belt, I don't know, we might not take the mower tomorrow. Might take the uh, right. Anyway, so, um, hopefully this belt will do us if we just do decide to mow tomorrow. It's, it's, it's pretty worn, but so far so good. Um, I was going to quit earlier, and Mariah, she thought the belt wouldn't hold up, and I said, well, we're going to risk it. You know the saying, if you if you want the biscuit, you got to risk it. No, I didn't say I wanted to uh, quit. I said, I hope it makes it through this. Yeah, really well, hard. we were both thinking maybe we should quit because it may not work, but it did work, and now we're on to our last yard, which will make 11. I, uh, you know, I have a goal every, every time I go out, and if I don't meet that goal, I bury hard on myself and so it's not a goal of how many yards we do it's a goal of how much money we make and I have a certain amount that I want to make every day a minimum a minimum that I want to make every day when I go out there's a lot of roofing signs everywhere <laughs> yeah Thank well there's been a lot of high winds probably a lot of damage roof anyway so we're headed on to our last yard and we have met our financial goal after that next yard, and then some. So, uh, you know, I, I, I hear a lot of people talk about how many yards they do. It's not about how many yards you do. It's about how much money you make. And with that breakdown, it slowed us down a little bit. What time is it? It's 4.24. 4.24. Like now we would have if we hadn't had the breakdown and went out of our way, we'd probably we lost an hour. I know. Well, well it wasn't just the breakdown. We went back for a dumb yard for that bit, you know that. Yeah. Yard. Plus somebody called. We went back for their yard That's too. That's where it broke down. If we had have went back, <laughs> it was my fault because I turned it on in high grass and popped the belt off. Yeah, Mariah. Um, I, I just, the belt had been going bad. We knew it. I thought I had another new one with me, or I went ahead and had it ordered. But what she did, it took grass real high and thick, and she lowered it down. And I popped the belt off. And, I, and I, then I, when she lowered it down, she started it. And what what happened is that caused the blades to go <coughs> and bog down, and they snapped that belt. And they popped it off of there and it actually broke the belt. It didn't come in half. But it's got such a bad break, I can't put it back on there. Well, it was breaking. I don't know why I did that. I never do that. That's not. That's a big fat no. So always engage your blades before not you get high grass. Before you go into the grass, because if you engage them in the grass, that can cause all sorts of problems. Well, so anyhow, we'll see y'all after the uh, the next yard. Hey, and while we're thinking about it. Uh, you know, if you like what you're looking at here, reach up there and push that thumb. Just push it. Give me a like. I like the likes.
Well, good morning, everyone. This is the next morning, and it is uh, 8.44. Didn't make an ending to the video last night. Uh, the reason is, well, it got a little bit late, and things were going on. You know how this life happens. But I wanted to read some of you comments this morning. And uh, we do have to go out and mow in a little bit. But it rained big time last night. But anyways, I wanted to respond to some of y'all's comments. Now, the comments may in the future, we may just read them all on a live uh, two times a week. That way, anybody that commented, if they want to join the live and elaborate and talk about it, then, you know, that would be a lot more fun. That would be a lot of fun for us. Wanda Fields, that's my sister. Glad to see you all out and about making videos. Wish you could have visited before you got busy again. Yeah, me too, sis. Uh, love you. Big son, long hair. Keep this game. Slow them down. He's talking about slowing down those thieves. Because they'll just go right out there on your trailer. And, and they'll literally be driving by, see your blower or something unattended, and even you can be in the front yard looking at them, and they'll stop because they know they can grab it before you can get to them. They'll stop, grab it, and go. Just the way it is. Um, let's see here. Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping, Carl and Rachel. Um, good to see a video from you, friends. Thanks for sharing your day. Well, thank you, Carl. Live Lawn with M. Linton. Anyways, uh, hey guys. Glad to see another video. You definitely have to lock up your equipment. Great video. Thank you. Carol Burstrand, which is my sister. I hope you have a great day, my brother. I love you, my brother. Love you too, sis. The dirty work. Y'all have crazy people on the street. Let the new people have the bi-weekly yards. I dropped them after my first season. It's just too much of a hassle. It really is. We started late a few Mondays and Tuesday. It was 40s and windy. It was snowing down here Monday morning. Um, yeah, we, um... We're trying to get out of that. What I would really like to do is a, instead of a bi-weekly or a weekly, go as a as needed. And that's what I'm moving into. And more than likely, that's probably what it's going to be within the next two years. There's not going to be any kind of schedule. I'm, everybody I mow for is going to know I'm going to mow it when I feel like it needs mowed. Now, of course, we don't know every yard, so if it needs mowed before I get there and they need to call, well, you know, that's okay, too. I understand that. Um, Wild Bill. Yeah, I'm going to start looking, locking my equipment up in my truck because it's getting bad. I can't stand it when someone keeps honking. He's referring to the goose vineyard guy that was trying to push me out in traffic before I felt it was safe. He's an old man, too. Uh, you know, Usually older people are more patient than that. I get so irritated that I get out and tell them, you honk again, you'll be eating that horn. I don't think we should do that, Bill. Um... I know I shouldn't do that, but I just get irritated fast. I love the yards that grow fast. Wow. Brian does a lot for sure. Rush hour is the worst. That is true. The first cut is always the worst, but my customers seem to give me extra, which is a plus. Great video, Wes and Brian. Thank you, Wild Bill. Jay's crazy cut. That's Jason and Christine. I always say if someone wants your stuff, they will take it. But I'm not going to put a sign on it. Steal me, please. 
Good video, y'all. I hope you didn't mail to me what I think you mailed to me. Okay, Jason, uh, Christine, I thought maybe we just put that up as a winter project. Because I know you're busy. Mm -hmm. Greg Davis, Craig Davis. Good job, guys. Thank you. Alpha Charlie. I like landscaping over mowing. More money. Tis true. Okay, you guys. It poured last night. It's really wet. But we're going to get going here in just a little bit. So I got to quit laying around. You see, I got my little blankie on me. Got my coffee. I'm just kind of chilling. So thank y'all for tuning in. And we'll catch you next time.